You don't even know about the Mtex crazy ninja abilities. I know what you're thinking too. Is it stabby? You tell me. Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. And I know what you're thinking. Don't tell me that's an Mtech Extreme. USA? You mean China? What do you got there? This is the finest knife ever made. I mean, I'm telling you right now, if you don't have an Mtech Extreme, where have you been all these years? Anyways, <laughs> this is, as I stated, an Mtech Extreme. I believe it is the model number MX. Freaking numbers too small for me to read. Uh, precision, precision made in China. It's 440C stainless. Um, it's obviously a Tom, Bra um, Tom Brown tracker knockoff. Um, you know, they call it Mtech Extreme, put a USA on it. It's kind of stupid, but you know, because it's not made in US. We have plastic scales. Um, pretty thick stock, actually, for a cheapo knife. I mean, this is coming in just a hair over uh, 3 sixteenths, I believe. Or might even be right at 3 sixteenths. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think we're looking at, uh, oh yeah, we're just a hair over 3 sixteenths stock right there. Of the finest 440C China has to offer. Uh, this thing is one of those, I don't know if you guys have big fives in your area. But this is one of those big five knives that, you know, regularly are, uh, I don't know, $99.95 on sale for $14.99. You know how they get you. Um, cheapo, just kind of a gas station-y knife. But all in all, I've had this thing for years. My uh, old lady ended up getting it for me a long time ago. Once again, another one of the knives that people get you when they think, they're like, oh, he's a knife guy. I'm going to get him something. But... She already knows how I feel about it, but I'll never get rid of it because she got it for me. But anyways, it is actually not that bad of a chopper. Um, I can't say I've used it a hell of a lot, but I mean, you can see there's use on this blade. I played with it. It's one of those knives that you just take out and beat. Uh, you can see this nick in this blade. I never even tried to sharpen it out. I was testing its steel and I just went up to something metal and was hitting it. And, uh, it took a nice gouge out of it. So, you know, it's not the hardest steel, but it'll take a good edge. It's surprisingly easy to sharpen with this funky twin grinds going on here. Um... It is a hollow grind, but it's a very shallow hollow grind. And, uh, you know, for what it is, it holds up pretty well. These are not sharp at all. They're just there for looks. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it other than... I don't know, man. Uh, Mtech is a hit and miss company. Mostly miss. Sometimes a hit. Uh, this one's on their better side, if I have to say. If you wanted, like, a cool... I don't know, I take the word cool lightly, but just a knife that you can just beat the crap out of and not really care. These things are pretty decent. I don't think the newer ones, I mean, I've had this one forever to where they use 440C. Um, God knows what they use now. You can still get these. It might be a three or a seven CR something, eight CR, who knows. But uh, yeah, decent knives. It'll chop, it'll throw. Um, not very comfortable. This stupid knob right here, it just, maybe it's just my hands, but my hands just don't line up well with these, uh, these cutouts for the, you know, finger grooves and stuff. So it's just not a super comfortable knife, but it is kind of fun to chop stuff with. And yeah, I'm rambling now. Anyways, hope everybody's having a good weekend. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.